Do you want to make 360 videos like this inside Unreal Engine? Well, you're in luck, because today I'm going to be showing you how you can do exactly that. First of all, we're going to need to go to our plugins, then search for Movie Render Queue. And you need to have these two plugins enabled in order for this to work. So after you enable these two plugins, is going to ask you to restart over here after restarting the engine we're going to need to create a level sequence so i'm just going to call this uh, 360 test you're going to uh, click on this camera button to bring in a camera after bringing in the camera what i'm going to do is i'm just going to reduce this to maybe eight frames don't want to render too much for now so check if you have this selected to movie render queue then i'm going to click on my config then i'm just going to delete my jpeg and change it to png and then i'm going to delete the default rendering tab over here and instead of that we're going to be adding this panoramic rendering so after doing that, you're going to see a bunch of different settings over here. So first you have your number of horizontal steps, then you have your number of uh, vertical steps. So the number of horizontal steps means uh, how many times Unreal Engine is going to render your scene horizontally and the number of vertical steps means how many times Unreal a Engine is going to render your scene uh, vertically. So more steps means Unreal has to render more which results in a better quality image this also reduces distortion after that we have our horizontal and vertical field of view you guessed it you can change your field of view from here but i do not recommend that you do because this might cause some crashes and after that you have your allocate history per pane uh, what this does is this actually tells unreal engine to store uh, temporal data uh, in the memory so you can use things like TAA or Lumen for this instance uh, if I have this checked off uh, Unreal is not going to calculate Lumen so you're not going to basically have any global illumination in your scene so I'm, I'm going to show you an uh, example of both how it looks with ticked on and how it looks with ticked off so with all of that out of the way uh, I'm just going to go to my output settings and set this to 8k so you can multiply this with 4 is going to make it 8k so this is 8k monoscopic and you can you can change the frame rate from here so I'm just going to keep it at 24 for now and I'm just going to hit accept and then hit render 2000 years later after you've rendered your scene uh, you're going to get images like this you open them up uh, you're going to see the image does not look uh, the same as the viewport that we just saw we don't see any sort of uh, lumen GI in here and also a lot of uh, temporal information is not here so if we go back into Unreal Engine and if I go over here and if I tick this on and hit render again after you've rendered it, if you see uh, your environment turning black like this, don't freak out. This is very typical of Unreal Engine. Uh, so what you're going to need to do to fix this is you're just going to need to go to your camera and search for exposure. So in, in your exposure, what you're going to need to do is just set this to manual and just bring up the exposure with the exposure compensation i'm just going to set it to somewhere around nine and hit render again if we open this render you're going to notice this uh this render looks almost identical to what we saw in our viewport before enabling allocate history per pane just keep in mind this gives up a huge amount of memory so what you're going to do is you can lower down the resolution over here i don't recommend you go below 4k since you're rendering a 360 image so yeah so just keep that in mind you're going to need a lot of memory 
to render uh, with all the features with Unreal. So after we've rendered our scene, we're going to want to turn this into a video. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have to open up Blender. And from here, I'm going to delete this cube. Then uh, I need to go to the video sequencer. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add our image sequence from here. After that, I'm just going to go to my render folder, then select all using A. Then what I'm going to do is change this to use original size. And then I'm going to add the image. Uh, let's check how many frames we have. We have 8 frames, so I'm just going to set this to 8. Then I'm going to go on to my output. Then I'm just going to set this to 8K as we rendered at 8K. After that's done, what I'm going to do is change this PNG to FFmpeg video. Then after that, change the encoding to mpeg4 then i'm going to change the output quality to perpetually lossless then set this to slowest after that i'm just going to choose my output directory i'm just going to put it in in here then i'm just going to hit render animation and it's going to start the render after this is done rendering, you're going to see a video just like this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to open it with movies and TV. Then I'm just going to change this to play yes 360 video. So we can move around the entire scene. So this is how you can have a 360 degree render inside Unreal Engine. So I didn't re record too much. It's only 8 frames. You can... You can render longer videos and you can also transfer over the files to your VR headset. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. And if you have any questions, just put them below in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.